In this video, we're going to talk about keyword research and how you can find out which types of keywords and keyword phrases that you'll want to be targeting for your website. Now, the first thing that I always do when I'm targeting a new keyword or a keyword phrase is go to Google and think about what I would type in if I wanted to find the product or the service that I am working on. So we'll keep with the RapidWeaver add-ons example and we'll and we'll begin by typing in Rapid Weaver into the search box here. Google will then give you some search suggestions below. And as you can probably guess, these are likely to be the most popular search terms around Rapid Weaver. So Rapid Weaver 8, themes, stacks, review, and so on. If we go down to Rapid Weaver add-ons and hit return, we'll then see the results for that search term. So this is good. If, if you think about what you want to be found for, go ahead and do a Google search for that. And then you can analyze the pages that are being displayed on the first results page. So for example here, we're at the very top with the Rapid Weaver community site. And I think that makes sense. Obviously the community site and specifically the add-ons area is the authoritative source for all of the third party add-ons for Rapid Weaver. And we're backing that up by the browser title here. So we obviously have Rapid Weaver add-ons. Then in the URL, we have Rapid Weaver and add-ons. And we also have that throughout the meta description. Now, obviously there is a lot more at play than just setting up your browser titles, your URLs, the meta tags, and the content to talk about a subject. There are other things like backlinks and how well ranked your domain name is. There's a lot of other things at play here. But if you get the basics right and you start to provide informative and interesting content around that subject, over time you should start to see your site rank better. You're not going to get on to page one of Google overnight. It does take time and you do need to keep at it. You need to keep on providing additional content on your site, fresh content, interesting content that people are talking about or sharing across the internet. But as I say, a good starting point is to go and see which sites or which pages are being displayed for the search terms that you want to be found for. And if we just scroll through a few of the other results here, obviously we've got the Rapid Weaver community add-ons area. We've got the Rapid Weaver, home, sorry, the Rapid Weaver community homepage. We're obviously talking about Rapid Weaver add-ons here. And then we have a couple of the Joe Workman websites. So you can see here, he's talking about add-ons for Rapid Weaver. And then he has his Rapid Weaver add-ons documentation area. So these are all relevant to that search term. And these are likely being visited often. And they're probably being shared a lot across or around the internet. And then you can see we have the Rapid Weaver forums area. So again, this is probably showing up because we're talking about Rapid Weaver add-ons. There's probably a lot of discussion going on here. Google understands that this is on the RealMax software domain name. So that is very authoritative when it comes to the Rapid Weaver search term. So it's going to promote these types of websites above anything else. So if we scroll down a bit further, you'll see then we have popular Rapid Weaver add-ons on the community site. So you can kind of see why these pages are being displayed on page one. They're all very relevant. They're all talking about the subject that we're searching for. And they're most likely being linked to a lot from other websites. And specifically, you want to be linked to from other authoritative websites. So for example, the RealMax software site links off to the Rapid Weaver community site. That is going to help Google understand that the community site is a very good source of information and it's one being linked to by the Rapid Weaver homepage. So we're going to get a lot of points for that. So that is something that you can think about. Obviously, we're, we're mostly focusing on keyword research here, but I want to make you understand that it's not just about targeting keywords. It's also about getting those backlinks or the links from other authoritative websites to your content. Okay, back to the keyword research though. Once you've Googled around for a couple of phrases, you'll also see at the bottom here that there are searches related to whatever you've searched for. So this again will give you an idea of the other types of things that users are searching for 
when they search for Rapid Weaver add-ons. So stacks, themes, eight, login, etc. These are all, I would say, related keywords to the phrase that you're searching for. So when we talked about previously in the course about adding related keywords, this is the type of thing that I'm talking about. You want to get these additional keywords, wherever relevant or possible, onto your site and throughout the content on your pages. Okay, let's do a couple of other searches before we move on. Let's say we wanted to find out um, how to add HTTPS to RapidWeaver. So let's just say how to add HTTPS to RapidWeaver. Okay, so actually, I'd actually forgotten that I'd written this blog post, but that's come up top. So this literally targets that keyword phrase that I put into Google. So this is a great example. I, I'm most likely uh, last year or, or very early last year looked at what type of phrase would somebody be searching for if they wanted to add HTTPS to RapidWeaver. And I obviously came out with how to add H, sorry, how to add HTTPS to your RapidWeaver site. So it's probably no surprise that this blog post on the realmaxsoftware.com domain is being displayed in position one for that search term. And you can guess why, we've got the exact keywords in the browser title, it's in the URL, and obviously the entire post is talking about RapidWeaver and HTTPS. And as I touched on, it's also on the realmaxsoftware.com domain name, which is obviously an authoritative source for RapidWeaver. So if we scroll down, here you can see then we have the RealMax Software forums, again, very authoritative source and it's also containing the keywords that we've searched for. So HTTPS, RapidWeaver, and most likely that forum post is talking a lot about how to add HTTPS to your site. Next up, we've got a video tutorial on the RapidWeaver community site. And again, I have produced a video alongside that blog post talking about how to add HTTPS to RapidWeaver. So again, you can start to see here why these pages are being displayed for these search terms. Now we'll leave it there for the uh, Googling around of search terms, but again, check out the uh, related searches at the bottom of the search results pages on Google to get an idea of the other types of keywords that you'd want to be found for, you'd want to be targeting, sorry, uh, when you are targeting a subject. Again, Cloudflare would be a very relevant uh, keyword because they offer HTTPS for free. So someone would likely know about that and they might start Googling about RapidWeaver, HTTPS and Cloudflare. So you could start targeting those types of keywords in a new blog post perhaps. Oh, and actually one other thing I did want to mention before we look at a keyword suggestion tool is what I did last year was start to think about what would people be searching for in 2018? So what type of keywords or what type of things might they want to know about in the future. And because as I, as I mentioned earlier, your content or your site is not going to rank on page one in Google overnight. It takes time to build up uh, not only an index in the search engines, but also for other people to link to and be interested in your content. So in 2017, I actually wrote a blog post about which meta tags were important in 2018. So if we type in RapidWeaver meta tags 2018, here you can see I wrote a post on the RealMax Software blog, which was titled, which meta tags matter for SEO in 2018? And that was, as I say, specifically to target people searching for meta tags and SEO and 2018. And you can see here that the post date was the 23rd of August, 2017. And this was because I was trying to get a new SEO blog post out that would start ranking perhaps in late 2017 and early 2018. So I wanted this content to start surfacing, not specifically when I posted it or a week later, I was targeting it long term. Uh, and as I say, trying to get it on page one in Google in 2018. Okay, with all that being said, let's close out the Google search and focus on a tool that I want to talk about. And that is Ubersuggest by Neil Patel. 
So if you go to nilpatel.com forward slash uber suggest, or you'll find it under the tools menu here. This is a free tool that will help you research keywords and keyword phrases for your website. So all you need to do is enter a keyword that you want to be found for. You can then choose your region and hit search. So let's go for Rapid Weaver and hit search. Okay, so what happens here is that an overview of the search term is created for you and you'll see the volume of searches and all of this information is an estimate. It's not going to be exact, um, but it is going to give you a good overview for that search term. Now specifically what you want to look at is not necessarily the volume, although that is a good indicator of whether this keyword is something that you want to target. So as you can see here, there's a high volume for the Rapid Weaver keyword. And you can see here, this is essentially when we released Rapid Weaver 8. So you can see that the search volume goes up immensely as soon as we released a version. So this is, um, as I say, this is what I was just talking about with the targeting keywords in the future. If you know or you can make an educated guess that the volume of searches for a certain keyword are going to go up, like for example when we released Rapid Weaver 8 here, you can target that keyword ahead of time as I said. Okay, if you scroll down you'll see the keyword ideas here. So a lot of these will look familiar uh, from the Google suggested searches as well. But this goes into a little bit more detail uh, and will help you understand more information about that search term. So if we wanted to find more about Rapid Weaver themes, for example, we could go into there. You'll then get the Google search engine results pages. So again, the Rapid Weaver community site is at the top and then we start getting all of the third party developers. Whoops, close that out. You'll also get a little keyword overview from Neil. So he'll say that this is an easy to rank for keyword and there's a 68% chance you'll be able to rank for it. So, so if you were to start up a new Rapid Weaver theme site, you could, um, it seems like there's a good chance that you could rank for Rapid Weaver themes if you were to target it correctly. Okay, next up, let's have a look what we've got in the sidebar here. So we can go to the search engine results page analysis, and you'll see here, this is essentially the exact same results that we saw when we searched for Rapid Weaver at the beginning of this video. We'll get the RealMax Software homepage, uh, sorry, the Rapid Weaver homepage on RealMax Software, then RealMax Software, then the community, and so on. And again, you'll, you'll get an estimated amount of visits, how many shares on social media this gets, and a domain score. Now, we're not going to cover domain score in this course, slightly outside of the scope, but if you want to know more, there's plenty of information on the internet. Just have a Google around for domain score and how that can be increased or how that works over time. So we'll go back to keyword ideas here. And again, you can scroll through all of these and again, you'll get an idea of what types of additional keywords you want to be focusing on throughout your entire site. So as an example here, you'll see that the Rapid Weaver versus WordPress or Rapid Weaver or WordPress keyword ideas comes up. The volume isn't particularly high, but it is something that might be of interest that we would want to target. And this is a good example because often when a website is talking about one subject, Rapid Weaver, for example, they forget that people will be searching for similar products and they might want to know information about which one should they choose uh, or try and get a more informed idea of which product to use or which is better for them. So a good page to have on your site if you're doing a type of services website or any or you're offering any type of service to a customer is to give them a comparison page where you can target your competitor's keyword. Because as you can see here, if someone is to search for Rapid Weaver and WordPress in the same keyword phrase, we would like to be targeting that because then they would come to our site and make it easier for them to understand why they should choose our product over someone else's. Okay, I think that'll just about do it for this. Again, if you hop over to the Neil Patel website, 
and go to the Uber Suggest, you can have a play around with this and enter your search terms or your keywords that you think you want to be found for and get some ideas for other keywords that you'll want to target at the same time. Once you know the keywords and phrases that you want to target, use the knowledge that you've gained in this Rapid Weaver SEO course to apply those keywords and phrases to your website.